Hi, this is Ray with My Service Depot. In this clip, I'd like to take a look at how to enter additional time using a job in iFleet. Let's open it up and head into our jobs list to select this first job. Then at the top of the screen, we'll choose our start to end time where we've been entering timestamps for ourselves, and we'll select add additional time. Then in the upper right hand side, I'll tap the plus and this is where I can adjust the time in and time out. So I'm going to set this to 3.15 p.m. using the slider and then choose save. Then in my time out, I'll tap on that and use the slider again to set that to 3.26 and select save. Then I select employee and choose the person out of the list. Let's get Luca A and scroll down a bit to select the payroll item. These come from QuickBooks. I'll set it to hourly. If you tap on service item, you can add this where it's applicable. Scrolling down, we'll set the type of time this is, which is travel, and then we'll choose to save it by tapping that button in the upper right. Let's add more time for production. Let's adjust our time in, let's say 3.30 p.m., and then tap save in the bottom right. And timeout is now, so we'll go straight to the employee and select Luca A. Scrolling down, we can choose our payroll item. Let's set that to hourly. And then our service item, which shows us our item list. Let's grab 15 point inspection. Scrolling down, we'll set our type. This is production time. And then tap save. We could certainly add more time here, but I'm going to head back and tap job complete because I myself am finished with production time for this job. I can tap back back again until I'm at my daily worksheet screen. For more how to's follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube or read our blog at www.smartservice.com